This is Island Girl Art Studio and I'm here with Penny who says that anyone can be an artist. So what exactly does that mean? We start that way. We're already artists when we're children. We draw with crayons and pencils and sidewalk chalk and whatever we can get our hands on and we draw what's around us, our family, our dog, our whatever we're inspired by. We start that way. We, we are already artists. And you're showing me today who I consider myself not very artistic. Uh, we're going to do an art project. We're just going to dive right into it, not think too much about it, and see how it turns out. That's right. <laughs> we're just dive right in. So I'm going to get you just draw in your stem and just a little kind of a scoop at the bottom so that when we go to paint, you know basically how big that flower is. So why is it important that we stay artists as adults? Well, you know, I think that's a personal question for a lot of people. They do it for different reasons. But in general, I think what happens is, you know, we get so busy with work and families and we're stressed out people. Uh, we don't ever totally relax and we, our minds never really stop, right? It's just this tape recorder going over and over and over. And what I know happens for people when they do art is they get so busy um, concentrating on what they're doing, they're, they are immediately relaxed. And people tell me all the time at the end of the class, I go, wow, I can't believe two hours went by. And I didn't think about work or my family at all that whole time. So we call that in the zone, right? Mm -hmm. They're just in that creative process. Because it does something, I think, for our hearts and our minds and our brains that nothing else can. So right now we're doing mixed media with the tissue. So what exactly does that mean? It just means we're using different materials to create the art piece. So instead of just paint, we're going to add some stuff to it. So we're going to use the tissue paper. And what you're going to do is you're going to take some of this gel and you're going to put it on the canvas like this, slap it on there, because that's what's going to make the tissue paper stick. Okay. And you want to actually crinkle this up and stick it onto where the flower is going to be. If it goes over the edges of your image, don't worry about it. Perfect. You can use your finger to move this and <laughs> Now stick we're getting it on dirty. There. Yeah, we're going to get messy. <laughs> So now that the painting's finished drying, what do we do next? So the tissue paper's all dry, so we're going to create the, the little petals on the poppies because the tissue paper has created the texture for us. So when we put the paint over top, it'll look like the textured uh, petals of the flower. How has being an artist changed for people? Is it more accessible? Are more people doing it? Or because of technology, less people are doing it? Well, it's a interesting question. I think for artists, the technology has helped us because we see we get our images out there much more easily and it's more accessible to people. But I think two people obviously are much more visually, they're inundated with visual images, right? When you think about the internet and how we use it. Um, so it's helped people to sort of be able to see things better. So I don't think it's held us back, but it's not a replacement for making things with our hands. Okay, I think it's done. What do you what do you think? I think it's great. You did a 16 by 20 painting all in one shot. You haven't done that before. I said you could paint without having to know how to draw and create something that was fun. And it's definitely in the zone just thinking about it, not thinking how it's going to look on camera or anything. And I like it. And definitely, as your poster says, Earth without art is just, uh. So in Nanaimo at Island Girl Art Studio, about to buy my own art supplies, I'm Rayanne LaPlante.